praise the most high today, family. Hallelujah. Praise the highest today. Mm -mm -mm, excuse me. Family, the most high is so good to us. So much better than we are to ourselves. And we thank him today for this is the day that he has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. I hope everyone is well today, family, and that you're able to get out and enjoy this day like I am. Getting yourself in some fresh air, some sunshine, and the most high willing, some good old exercise. Hallelujah. This is a Shabbat today, so Shabbat Shalom. I have spent most of the day resting, family. Hallelujah. And I said I wasn't going to say nothing, but I, I hadn't been feeling good since yesterday. Since I went to that dentist appointment, I had the sniffles and my throat was burning. And also, on all three of my jobs yesterday, I had folks wanting to smoke in the same vicinity as I was in. And it was quite aggravating. So I got back to the motel room last evening with my throat burning and my nose running. Well, it already started, like I said, from the time I left that dentist. But praise the most high, we had to get on up and come out and share this idea. And it's one that we've done before. But it's one of the most high reminding us that he's in our corner, he's got us. And it is, are we there yet? No, let's say it like this. Are we there yet? Oh, are we there yet? <laughs> and you know how kids do. Ask mommy and daddy, are we there yet, mommy, daddy? Are we there at the, the, um, the amusement park yet? They say, not yet, baby. Are we there yet at grandma's house? That sweet old lady who treat us real nice, give us gifts and toys and sweets. Not yet, baby. But in this case today, it's us folks asking the most high, are we there yet, Pop? Are we there yet? We're tired of waiting. We're tired of putting up with them folks. We're tired. We're dog tired, boss. <laughs> Praise the most high. He's saying, hold on. I'm coming. Family, I'm reading in Second Edris. The most I put it on my heart a few days ago. And I just been reading through it casually, just letting it marinate in me. I read it before and it's bringing a lot back to me. And I'm here in Second Edris 4 and 33. And it says, He answered me and said, Don't hurry faster than the most high. For your haste is for your own self, but he who is above her is on behalf of many. And that, that was going to be the, whole, the title, On Behalf of Many. And I believe that's how we'll put it. Are we there yet? On behalf of many. We'll see how the most I leads. But see, we had spoke on this idea before when the most I had to check me about asking him his plans. <laughs> oh boy, family. And this story here is the exact same thing. I'm not saying I'm some prophet or nothing, but he reminded me that remember when I you asked me about my plans and I told you to get back in line and quit trying to be nosy about things you don't understand or things too high for your level. This above your pay level, basically. But this is what he, he did to Edris. Edris had come to him. Let's give it a backstory. Idris had come to him and was asking questions about the situation of our people, Yasharil. He was heartbroken because he saw what was going on with him being there in captivity. He had, um, he was in captivity and he said a few years, I believe, family. 
But he was in captivity and he was looking at the situation of his people. He started questioning the Most High, just like we are now today. Why are we in this situation? We're the Most High's people. Why are we where we're at? But the Most High told him, family, that just like Yahushua told Just like Yahushua told his disciples about the tar, tares, and the wheat being, being seeded up together and not to tear them out because you would tear out the wheat with the tares if you tried to weed up the tares. But he had told Idris that the seed was planted since Adam. Hasatan planted that seed in Adam from the beginning. Mm-mm-mm, what a high mess. And he was telling you see the results of the seed, how evil the the, the um evil the um harvest is, in my own words, from just that one seed from the beginning. And he was basically telling him that you have to wait on the most high to um deliver his people basically. And he asked him a question that really stood out to me. He said, Dude, you love the Most High more than I do. Love my people more than do you love the Most High's people more than he does? The angel Ariel asked him. Or Uriel. And he said, no, no, Master. I don't love the Most High's people more than he do. He knew the answer correctly then. And, and it's the same with me, family. I pray for our people. And I see the hardship we're going through, and it hurts my heart so much. Just like I went to this job last evening, <clears throat> and I gotta tell it, this fellow, the whole house looked like the crumps, and most I will know I'm not picking on folks, but the whole the whole family, and that's what it reminds me, reminded me of, is the crumps. And um, Dr. Doolittle, I believe, where Eddie Murphy plays plays the whole family. I mean, with the the fat twins and all. But these young fellas, one was younger and one was older. The daddy was huge. I mean, huge. Pop belly. Mama was huge. They, mama and daddy had just come back. I was in there doing the job, and the oldest son came to the door and let me in, and I started on the work. And the, um, they had just they was just coming back with um, dinner for the whole family. I mean, everything they had on the place was pure. On the most part, it was um, unclean. Then it was too much, just piles of trash on the place, oxtails. I mean, some people feel like they can eat oxtails, but if you know where it's coming from, you be like, oh, I don't want to eat that. That's coming from the where they swipe the boo-boo <laughs> off their tail all day. Well, praise the most high family. I'm not, I'm not going into that, but I mean, everybody in the household huge. And I remember somebody um saying that you shouldn't be um too tough about where you're at. Because someone in a, in a position worse than you are. And I said, that's a good point. That's a good point. Because, you know, I was concerning myself with my health here of late. And not being able to get out and ride. And I see my op, Ed Logan. I put his information up. He's a fruitarian now. Now he's lost 44 pounds, family. In 60 days. Or doing this fruitarian diet, and I had just come off of a um, a vegan style diet where I only ate fish and veg and, and veggies and fruit for like um, I think we went like then we went like ninety days, sixty I know, and. Since then, I hadn't done my exercise. I hadn't been on a steady, consistent diet because I've been getting back to my own business and being on the road, it's been a little tougher. 
and especially with the exercise my energy level had been pretty much low as it can be because um, I'm back doing physical labor physical work but family when I tell you these these family members looked a hot mess I mean all of them just gumping that food down just like the crumps did every one of them had to be probably about 250 300 including the mama the daddy and the oldest son probably about 300 the youngest son probably about 250 if not more than that and I'm talking about short short people family not not my height but I said praise the most high father and we see I pray right then I said father help our people help our people father because they're not the only ones in this situation. Don't take care of their bodies. And it becomes a sense of hopelessness, which the, the husbands had spoke to that. When I got nosy, I asked him about his, his limp. I mean, family, he came out the back room with no shirt on, with some jeans and barefooted. I mean, looking a hot mess. And I said, ugh. Mm. And he asked me, family, he said, would um, the weed smoke bother you? I said, yes, sir, it would. I just stopped smoking weed about five years ago, six years ago, and I don't need that in my system. He was like, um, so it won't bother you? I said, man, this your house. Do what you do. He said, you ain't gonna smell it anyway. I'm gonna have my door closed. And family, do you know that just like them cigarettes from the two prior jars were loud in my system because now I smell them like, just like that. It's like a, a radar um, system going off in me. I had to move and get away from it. But he started smoking that weed. I can smell it in the house. I hurried up and got that job done, got out of there as soon as I could. But I, I almost wanted to get mad at the fellow family in his house. Just like the two prior jobs I went to earlier that day. I said, Father, what is going on with these disrespectful people? Don't they know to go outside and smoke when you have company in your house that don't smoke? <clears throat> but in the rules, they tell them, tell them that they have to give me the whole room. But family, when you one of us, you, you just try to get through it and get out of there without making too much noise because at any given time a fool could act a fool oh boy and that's an idea we had a few months ago we didn't ever put it out it's called if you hang around fools you a fool <laughs> oh boy but praise the most high family yeah that, that like I was saying that really put me in the mind of our people real heavy I said who else is like this Abba who else is like this that's not that I don't see I haven't seen but are in this situation our people I was like oh my goodness and it hurts your heart family and you start to question well how long father how long father how long how long and that was basically my, my answer He's in it for the long haul with, with the people. He said, don't hurry faster than the most high. For well, your haste is for your own self. But he who is above hurries on behalf of all, or many. And see family, that's what we're looking at, the many. And the many that's not ready to meet their maker in the wilderness. The many that's not heard this truth of who they are and the most highest people who have not been awakened to the remembrance of who they are as the text says there in Baruch family we really have to um, pray for our people that he would send the, the workers to each individual that he has chosen to awaken for this time to come to remembrance, we should say, of who they are as the most highest people. But are we there yet? 
And a lot of times, family, just like I was thinking, thank you, Father, for the reminder. We're asking where the most high at, and we're not ready. Uh-oh. <laughs> we're not prepared to meet him in the wilderness to um, pass under that rod. We're still needing some time, some opportunity, some grace and mercy to get ourselves correct. Or to let him work in us what he needs to work in us. Or work out of us where it needs to be worked out of us. So be patient with your Elohim family. One thing that he reminded me of the, of, of, of the other day, or last week or the week before, I was just talking to him family like I normally do. I said, Pop, you know what? You have never let me down. I said, oh boy, you have never let me down. Then I came back and said, since, I've been following you wholeheartedly and doing what you tell me to do, doing what you ask me to do, doing what you direct me to do. You never let me down. How many of us can say that today, family? That the Most High has never let you down. Mm -mm. He has never let you down. See what that has to mean, family. There's some type of obedience going on in your life. Praise the most high. Yes, indeed it is. It has to be. Mm -hmm. You're doing something correct. You're walking humbly with your Elohim. And forgive me, family. I know we're done and I'm heading on back up. I don't want to forget some I need. Praise the highest today, family. Mm -mm -mm. See, I needed this. And I wanted to thank Ak while Cote, Jordana Brown, pardon me, family, for the encouraging words she gave us this morning. Her and I, Akote, Mayala, My Colty William Jeff Wilbert Jefferson and our Colty the Oil of Joy and my Ock H2DED. Praise the Most High. They gave me some encouraging words this morning. That made me feel really good. But the one from our Colty to Dana Brown. It's so simple, family. She said, rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Mm-mm-mm. And don't you know that was a foot to butt for me, family, to get up and get myself right? Because a lot of times we don't feel good physically. We tend to want to go feeling sorry for ourselves and whining and complaining. <laughs> oh, boy. And the most high, like, get, get yourself up and get together. You'll feel a whole lot better once you do it. Get out and get going. Praise the most high. Share some of this, what you got on the inside of you. You may not be feeling good physically, but your spirit is strong. <laughs> Hallelujah. Your Ruach is, is roaring like a lion. <laughs> Praise the most high. <laughs> Praise the most high. And all you got to do is activate it. By getting that, that butt up and moving. Saying, great is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Yes, indeed. And I refuse to sit down and lay down on the most high. And that's what the old fella said, family. Forgive me. Thank you all, but that's what the big fella said yesterday. I hate to call him big fella, but he was huge. He was huge to be so short. But he said, family... He said, um, yeah, I hurt my, I need a new hip. I need my hip replaced. He said, but I ain't gonna let it get me down. I ain't gonna let it whip me, man. I said, yeah, I was just being nosy because I had a major stroke a couple of years ago and it affected my leg and I didn't know if you had the same thing going on with you. He said, nah, bro, I just need a hip. 
So it behooves us, family, also not to judge people too harshly. You don't know what's going on with people and you just are judging them. And that could be why the whole family eat like they eat. Don't take care of their body like, you know, like he don't. And I'm there judging him. And I should be praying. Because as I picked up with the Most High family, as I've noticed, that every job I go to, I'm supposed to be praying. Hallelujah. I'm supposed to be praying for the folks in that house. The whole house. So that was a rude awakening for myself. And I prayed. And I pray the Most High works in and through the entire household. Because the parents are doing something right there. Because both young men was very, very honorable. Very, um, What's the word? Respectable. Yes, sir. No, sir. The younger, the older fellow went out of his way to make sure I was comfortable. And um, the space I had to put, put together their item. But family, don't rush today. Pray the Elohim of the harvest will send workers. Because the text says... Harvest is plentiful, but labors are few. Praise the Abba your boy today. Hallelujah, family. That he was seeing harvesters, harvesters to harvest the land. Praise the most high. See, that's why I get on out here, family. I don't know who I'm affecting. See, the Most High family, he knows to have just enough people commenting on my recordings to keep me motivated and not get the big head or get puffed up. <laughs> so I have a following. <laughs> I just noticed the other day, family, we have 303 people following us now. And before that, we hit 200, I believe. And I was like, oh, boy. I have 200 followers. Before I knew it, I said, I have 200 followers. But praise the Most High, he has 303 followers. Because it's him, family. Whenever, whenever I come and I try to say, the Most High be praised. Praise the Most High. All praises to the Father, not me. It's him. Because it's not me, it's him. He's given me the ability to say something for him, which he's he's is through a good good tail whooping, a good um, scolding, to where I had to learn. Don't do this, do that, and it reverberates in my ruach family. Every time I see something or somebody. I be like, no, ain't no way in the world. I started to say, ain't no way in the hell. <laughs> and that will be true, because that's where it's coming from. I'm going to sacrifice myself and my love for the Father and all he's done for me, where he's gotten me to. For that piece of mess. And as I said in the prior recording, family, I don't have nothing off for nobody. But a bunch of trouble <laughs> physically nothing the only thing I have to offer family is this testimony of how the most high is daily working in and through my life and we're gonna leave it at that are we there yet for the minute is that what we said 
for the many is who the, the most high looks out for. On behalf of many, praise the most high wasn't encouraging script today. Praise the Father. I'm starting to feel that sweat. Thank him for working that mess out of me. Do stay up, family. Keep pushing forward in the right direction. Shalom with your Elohim.